We can all rest easy. There is a great crop of future gardeners already at schools around the country. The TNG Garden to Table Young Gardener of the Year Awards have been announced. And on the coffee group today, we have an organiser and some winners as well. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Lovely to have you in the studio. Let's start with you okay. first, Linda. Yes. Uh, you head a garden to table. That's right. Tell me about what your organisation actually does. So we are all about getting children to grow, harvest, prepare and share and love more fresh fruits and veggies. Mm. And anything that we can do to make that happen, such as the TNG Garden to Table Young Gardener Awards. Yes, exactly. It's a very, very good thing to get them liking veggies young. Oh, absolutely. So, so, so Bowen, what, did you, what award did you win? Uh, we won the TNG Garden to Table Award. Wow, yeah, sounds very impressive. The Emerging and, Schools yeah. Award. The oh, Emerging yeah. Schools Award. Wow, did you get a cup? Uh, no. Some sort of trophy? They will do. There is they a trophy will do. coming. There's good a trophy to know. coming, yeah. Hey, Ollie, what do you enjoy most about working in the garden at school? Uh, I reckon just getting out there, getting the veggies, just cooking them in the kitchen stuff. Yeah. yeah. Just getting in there and making some food. Yeah. Making yeah. something delicious mm -hmm. to eat. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, Linda, what stood out for you about Wainui? Well, all the schools that entered had fantastic gardens, but I think what was really special about Wainui School was the philosophy they had about being guardians of the environment and also using the garden as an outdoor classroom. Yeah. So linking all the other learning that they were doing at school into the garden. Excellent. And there were some other winners as well? There was. So we had North Lowburn, which was our established school um, garden, um, school garden. Right. And then we had uh, Milford, which was the passion for growing uh, school as well. Excellent. So. They seem like such great awards too. Oh, so much fun. You know, great for the kids to get involved with. Hey, Bo, and so what's the most exciting thing that you've done as part of the Garden to Table program? Uh, the most exciting thing would be growing all the veggies in the garden and then using them in the kitchen. Yeah. Do you have a favourite veggie? Uh, silver beet. Is it because it's easy wow. to grow or is it because you actually like the taste of it? Uh, because it's easy to grow. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Ollie, so do you eat more veggies now that you've been growing them at school? Uh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, what's your favourite? Uh, lettuce. Lettuce. <laughs> yeah. And is that because it's easy to grow? Because they do grow it, quite easily, don't yeah, they? Yeah, it's good and you can just put in wraps and stuff. Which is yeah, really exactly. You can bulk yeah. out anything with a bit of lettuce. Linda, why do you think it's so important to get kids into growing food? Well, a lot of children today don't know where their fresh fruits and vegetables come from. Mm. And we know that children, if they enjoy what they're doing, uh, then they're far more likely to eat more fresh fruits and veggies. And that's what we're about. So get them started, get them enjoying growing fresh fruits and veggies, and they're far more likely to eat them. Well, that's the thing. If they're engaged from when they actually go in as a seed into the ground. Yeah, that's right. A little bit more like, well, I better eat that now because I've spent all this time growing it. And they're excited. You know, they watch, um, watch the plants growing and then they're ready for harvest and then they take it into the kitchen and they make some delicious stuff with it. Keep so. the snails off them. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Snail traps. Yeah. Yep. What were your snail traps? Uh, well, we, um, it's like yeast and stuff mixed yep. with water yeast, and stuff. sugar, flour, yeah. water. Oh. Yeah. And what, and the snails will go into there? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. You bury a cup in the ground. And they go into it? Yeah. Sounds yeah. perfect. So an organic way to ditch the snails. Yeah. Yes. There's nothing worse than yeah. waking up in the morning and finding snails all over your lettuce. Uh, yeah. So what would your advice be, both of you, for other kids who are watching now who want to grow veggies at home? You first, Bowen. Just go out and buy a pack of seeds and try it. Because you don't know how much fun it will be yeah. until you try it. Ollie, what about you? Yeah, exactly. That's what he said. You just like, need to get out there and try it before you say it's not good or anything like yeah. that. And do you think it's important to grow things that you like, though, that you like to eat? Yes, yeah, definitely. It will be a waste. What yeah. have you grown that you don't like eating? Um, um, there's, like, lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie's going, what? But that's my favourite. How can you possibly think that? <laughs> so, Linda, what do you think parents could be doing at home to support what they're learning in school with the gardens? Well, I think if the children come home and they're enthusiastic about what they've been doing, exactly what the boys have said, go and buy a packet of seeds. It's only a few dollars. And if you don't have a lot of garden space, find a pot, you know, grow it on the deck outside, an old gumboot, you yeah. know, put some soil in an old gumboot and just get started and be led by the children, support what they want to do. A mm. uh, packet of seeds or a lot of schools will also do seed harvesting and send some seeds home with the kids. So just let them go, support them and then cook up and have some fresh veggies at home. So what's your favourite too? What favourite veggie do you like to grow? You know, I actually love carrots. I love growing carrots because you've got this little green bit on top and then you pull it out and often the carrots, they don't look as pretty as they do at, um, when you buy them in the yeah. shop, do they? You get, they got all funny shapes and different legs and things, so carrots are always fun. Are they easy to grow? I've 
don't have an issue with carrots. Some people find them a bit tricky, but I actually think carrots are fun. Awesome. Hey, yeah. well, it's been a pleasure chatting to you all today, and well done, guys. Yeah, Congrats. Really inspiring stuff, actually. Thank you for joining us.